Hey guys and welcome to video 5 with yarnhookers.com. Today we will be working with the same graph pattern as we did in video 4 and it is still available for free download at my website at www.yarnhookers.com. Simply click on the tips tab and there you will also find the full sequential series of how to crochet by graph. Also, please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube so that you may be updated as my videos are released. Now, if you need a refresher on how to read the basic graph pattern, please visit video 2. Also, this video series is not intended to be a how to crochet from back to front. If you should need a refresher on the single crochet stitch, which is an American term, or the double crochet stitch, which is UK term, and they are the exact same stitch, just called two different things. If you need a refresher or learn how to crochet from back to front, feel free to visit Bob Wilson 123. She is an awesome, awesome guide to learning how to crochet, and she has wonderful videos here on YouTube as well. And she also has wonderful projects that you can follow up on on her Facebook page, and you can check her out there. Now in video four, we learned two techniques called carry the yarn and the drop and grab. In this video five, we will be learning to carry multiple strands of yarn through every row throughout the project. Okay, and for this particular project, you will need two colors of yarn, my graph pattern that is available on my website, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, your handy dandy arrow to help stay on track, and a G6 crochet hook. Okay, so let's get started. Okay guys, now if you'll remember when we're looking at the graph for right-handed people, our odd rows will work right to left and our even rows will read left to right. Our first stitch, according to the graph, will be the very bottom right box, okay? Now, if you are left-handed, you can still follow along. You will just do the opposite of the directions that I'm guiding. And so for left-handed people, your odd rows will run left to right, and your even rows will run right to left. And your very first stitch, according to the graph, will be the very bottom left box, okay? But I'm right-handed, so that's the way I am going to work. All right, so according to row one, we need 15 stitches. And again, we will need a chain of 16. So using whatever color you want to use as the background, and I did a more um, elaborate representation of a slip knot, and you can always go to video four if you need a slower representation. And we are going to make a slip knot, maybe. And then we will chain 16. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So we should have a chain of 16. Yep. Okay, so now we, since we are using the method of carrying every strand through every row, at this point, we will introduce our purple color or whatever secondary color you want to use. Even though the row is not calling for a purple, we will begin carrying all the unused colors in the first row. Okay, and the way you do that is you take your unused color or in other projects if you have more than one, you will leave a tail long enough to weave in after the entire project is complete and then you will simply lay that secondary color on top of row one and then we will complete our 15 single crochet pink stitches working over that purple strand and it will that will 
pull it through the entire row, okay? So starting in the second chain from the hook, which is right here, we will go in and make our first pink single crochet stitch working over the purple, okay? And so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, straighten that out a little bit, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15. And we worked over the purple and worked our 15 single crochet stitches in pink. And now at the end of every row, you're going to chain one and turn. Before I turn, I'm going to pull that purple. I'm going to hold it at one end because it's not attached to anything. So make sure that you hold it or you'll pull the whole thing out and you just kind of pull it so that it'll get a straight tension inside there and then also kind of stretch it a little bit so that it'll sit correctly okay so we have chained our one and turned and we're ready for row two so we are going to flip our arrow and row two says that for right-handed people we will read the pattern from left to right and we will need seven single crochets in pink, one purple, and seven single crochets in pink again to complete the row. Now, we already have the purple under our stitch of pink where we were working, and we are going to take that purple and carry it on the next row, so we are simply going to fold it up and lay it across row one, which is the row we just finished. Okay, so we're going to leave it up there and we are going to work our seven single crochets in pink over that purple. And on the seventh stitch, we will need to change color over to purple. Okay, so let's go into our first stitch and we're going to work with pink working over the purple. Okay, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh stitch, we will need to change back to purple. So I'm going to give that little purple a tug. And then I'm going to go into the next stitch, pull up a pink. And then I will finish that stitch in purple so that I have created my seventh pink single crochet stitch and also changed over to color purple for the next box. Okay. Now guys, I, I apologize for my voice. Um, there is a tree that is growing out front of my house and it is absolutely beautiful. And we just moved here in, in January, so I don't know what kind it is. But it is in full bloom and it is covered in white, beautiful flowers. I need to take a picture and, send, and post for you guys. It is pretty. But it is having havoc on my sinuses. And I feel fine, but my voice is kind of yucky. So I apologize for that. So, okay, so now we're going to work our single purple and change back to pink in the same stitch, okay? 
So we're going to go into our purple, working over the pink. We're going to pull up our purple stitch. We're going to yarn over from the back with the pink so that we can change color and pull through the two loops. And so now we have made one single crochet in purple and we're ready for the next stitch in pink. Okay? So now we're going to carry the purple throughout the end of the row, okay? And it calls for seven pink single crochet stitches and we're gonna work them all over purple, okay? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we worked all those stitches over the color purple. And at the end of every row, you're going to chain one. And I'm gonna give that purple a little tug and a stretch. And then I'll turn, okay? So now we have finished row two, and we will flip our arrow over, and we are working on row three. And row three for right-handed people is reading from right to left, and it says we need six pink, three purple, and six pink again. Okay, so again, we will pull up that purple strand and lay across the row and we will work our six pink single crochet stitches over that purple okay so here we go so here's one two three four, sometimes the yarn has a mind of its own, so there's four, and then there's five, and then on the sixth pink stitch we need to change back to purple, so we're going to go into the next stitch, pull up a pink loop, and then we're going to yarn over with the pink, or I'm sorry, with the purple from behind and pull through those two loops to have completed our single crochet set of six stitches in pink and change color to purple. Okay, now we're going to lay our pink up at the top of the row and our pattern says we need three purple. So we're going to work three purple single crochets and change color on that last stitch. So here's one. two, and kind of give it a tug, and on that last stitch we're going to go in, and then we are going to pull up a purple, so we have two loops, and then we are going to yarn over with the pink, and as you can see the colors are right there together. So this is the whole point of carrying colors through the rows, okay, so that the colors will be where they need to be when it's time to use them, okay. So now we have finished our three purple, and now we will put the purple strand back at the top of the row and complete our six single crochets in pink. Okay, so here's one, two, three, give that a little tug, four, five, and six. And at the end of every row, we chain one and we turn. But before I turn, I'm gonna give that a little pull and a stretch so that it'll sit evenly inside. And then I'll turn, okay? So we have completed row three. We're gonna flip our handy dandy arrow and we're looking at row four 
in row four for right-handed people reads left to right and it says we need five pink, five purple, and five pink again. Okay, so for row four, again, we will pull the purple from the back and lay it on top of the row and we will make five pink single crochets working over the purple and change color in the last stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four, and then I'll give it a little pull and a stretch. And then on the last stitch, I'm gonna go in and pull up a pink, yarn over with purple to change its color, and pull through the two loops of that last pink stitch. Okay, now I'm gonna work five purple over the strand of pink. So I'm gonna pull the pink up there. Okay, so here's one, two, three, four, and on the fifth purple, we're gonna change color again. So I'm gonna go in and pull up one purple loop, and then I'm gonna yarn over with the pink and pull through to complete that purple stitch. And then I have five pink to complete the row, and I am going to work those stitches over the purple. So here's one, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm gonna pull that purple a little bit, give it a stretch, and then at the end of every row, you chain one and you turn. Okay, so we have finished row four, and now we will turn our arrow and row five says we are reading right to left and we need four pink single crochets, two, three, four, five, seven purple and four pink again, okay? So we are going to bring that purple strand back to the top of the row and let it ride up there. We're gonna pull it, pull it to the back and we will work over it for four stitches with pink. So there's one, two, three, and on the fourth stitch, we are going to change color. So I'm gonna go in and pull up a pink, yarn over from the back with the purple, and pull through to complete that stitch. Then I'm going to let the pink right at the top and I'm going to work over the pink for seven single crochets in purple and I will change color on the last stitch of that. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and on the seventh stitch, I'm gonna switch back to pink. So I'm gonna go in and pull up a purple loop, yarn over with the pink from the back and pull through the last two loops of that last purple stitch. Then I'm going to pull the purple up to the top of the row and I will finish out the row with four single crochets in pink working over the purple. So here's one, two, three, and four. Kind of give that purple a tug and a stretch, and then I will chain one and turn, okay? So we have finished row five, and we're gonna flip our arrow, and we are on row six, and row six says from left to right we need three pink, nine purple, and three pink again. 
Okay, so for row six, reading left to right, it says we need three pink, nine purple, and three pink again, okay? So we are going to pull the purple from the back, lay it across the row, and work our three single crochet stitches in pink over that purple, okay? So here's one, two, and on the third stitch, we've got to change to purple. So we're going to go in, pull up a pink, yarn over from the back with the purple, and complete that last pink stitch, okay? Now, we are going to pull the pink across the row as we work our nine purple single crochets, okay? So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, kind of give that a tug and a stretch, seven, eight, and on the ninth purple we're going to change back to pink. So I'm going to go in and pull up a purple loop and then I'm going to yarn over from the back with the pink and complete that stitch. Then I am going to work over the purple for the remaining three pink single crochets. So here's one, two, and three. And then I'm going to stretch and pull. And then at the end of every row, we chain one and turn. Okay? So we have completed row six. Okay, so for row seven, we're going to flip our arrow. And row seven says that we need two pink, 11 purple, and two pink again to complete the row. Okay, since our next stitch is pink, we will then pull up our purple, line it up to the top of the row, and we're going to carry it across, and we're going to make two single crochet stitches in pink and change color in the last. So here's one and two. I'm going to go in and pull up the pink loop. I'm going to come from behind with the purple and complete that loop, that loop or that stitch to change color. Okay, so there's two. And now we need three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just double checking myself. So we need 11 purple and we're working over the pink. So we're carrying it up top. So here's two, three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and on the eleventh stitch, we're still working over the purple, we will go in and pull up that pink loop and change color on that last purple stitch. So we will wrap the yarn over from behind and pull through those last two loops of that last purple stitch. And we are going to work over the purple for the next two pink single crochets. So here's one and two. And kind of pull and give it a stretch and then at the end of every row we chain one and we turn. See? It's a very similar strategy that we did in video four, but it has a very, very different result. Okay? So now we have finished row seven. I'm going to get some more yarn here. 
straighten out my camera and mark off row seven and now we're going to flip our arrow and we are working on row eight and row eight row nine row 10 and row 11 are exactly the same okay and row eight reads from left to right and we will make one pink 13 purple and one pink again okay so we have chained and turned put my little hook through there again and our first stitch is pink but we have to change color on it as well so since it's pink stitch we will pull our purple up so that it is under that pink stitch we will go into that stitch and pull a pink through you see that and then we will yarn over with the purple to complete that single pink single crochet okay now we will pull our pink up to the top of the row and work our 13 purple single crochets so here's one and we're working over the purple two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and on the thirteenth purple stitch we will change back to pink okay so we're still working over the pink as we go through the next stitch and pull up the purple and then we will yarn over from the back of the hook with the pink and pull through those two loops to complete that 13th pink stitch okay we will work over the purple for the remaining single crochet of the pink stitch okay so we're going to go into the stitch and work one single crochet stitch over that purple strand kind of give it a tug and a stretch and then we will chain one and turn okay all right so now we have finished row eight and okay so we are on row nine and it is exactly the same as what we did on row eight I contemplated um, shutting off the video and meeting you up on row 11 but we're all doing the same thing so why not do it together okay So, again, we will be pulling our purple from the back, laying it across the top. Our first stitch is pink, so we will be working over that purple for the first stitch and changing color. So we're going to pull up our pink, and then we're going to yarn over from the back with our purple and complete that one stitch. Okay then we will finish as we work over our pink 13 single crochets in purple okay so here's one two three four five six seven and I'm still working over the pink eight nine ten eleven I think I miscounted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, I miscounted. Okay, so in the thirteenth stitch, we're going to pull up our purple. 
yarn over from the back with the pink and complete that 13th stitch. Okay, then we're going to pull up our purple and let it ride the one stitch and we're going to work our single crochet pink over that purple strand. Okay, so here's one. See there? And now we're going to give the purple a little pull, give it a little stretch, and then we're going to chain one and turn. Okay. I'm going to prepare a little more yarn here. Okay. So we just finished row nine, and now we are on row ten. So we're going to flip our arrow and we will be working the exact same color scheme that we did before. Okay, so again, I swear yarn has a mind of its own. Okay, 10. All right, so we will pull the purple from the back across the row so that we can make our single pink single crochet stitch and work over the pink or work over the purple. So we're going to go through the stitch, pull up a pink. We're going to yarn over from the back with the purple to complete that single stitch and then we're going to pull the pink to the top and work our 13 single crochets in purple. Okay? So here's one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, nope, that's 11, 12, and on our last stitch, we'll go in and pull up a purple, yarn over from the back with the pink, and pull it through to complete that last purple stitch. Then we will work over the purple for the remaining single crochet of pink, okay? So we're going to go in make our single stitch, and there's one. We're going to pull that a little bit, and then we're going to chain and turn. Okay, so we have finished row 10. We have row 11, which is the last row that resembles the previous view, okay? So, it reads right to left, and again, we need one pink, 13 purple, and one pink again, okay? So again, we will pull the purple across the top, and then we will make our single crochet and our color change in the same stitch, okay? So we're gonna go in and pull up a pink, yarn over from the back with the purple, and pull through, okay? So then we have 13 pink or 13 purple and we're working over our pink. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, kind of give the pink a tug, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and on the thirteenth stitch we're going to change back to pink. So I'm going to go in and pull up a purple loop. And then yarn over from the back with the pink to change color. And then I'm going to work my one single crochet over that purple strand to complete the row. And then you chain and turn. Give that a little pull stretch. Okay. 
All right, so that was row 11. And then row 12 reads left to right, and it says that we will need one pink, six purple, one pink, and six purple again, okay? So we will pull the row, or pull the pink, the purple, to the top of the row. And we have one single pink crochet stitch that's gonna work over the purple, and we also have to change color, okay? So we're gonna pull up our loop, and then we are going to yarn over from behind with the purple, and then pull our pink across the row, and do six purple single crochets. So here's one, two, three, four, five, give it a tug, and on the sixth stitch we're going to go in and pull up a purple loop and we've got to change color, so we're going to yarn over from the back with the pink, okay? Now, it says we need one pink stitch, so that means we're going to have to change back to purple on that one stitch. So we're going to go into the stitch, pull up a pink, working over the purple, and then we will yarn over from the back with the purple and pull through that, those two loops to complete that one single crochet stitch in pink, okay? So now we need to work over our pink again. We're gonna set it up here and work six single crochets in purple. So here's one, two, three, four, five, and on our sixth stitch, we're gonna change color back to pink. So we pulled a, pink, a purple loop through. We're gonna yarn over from behind with the pink and pull through to complete that last stitch, okay? We're gonna work one single crochet in pink over this purple stitch to complete the row. So there's one, and then chain one, and we'll give it a stretch, kind of pull that through, and turn, okay? Awesome. Okay, so we finished row 12. And so now we're on 13, and 13 says, flip our arrow, that we are reading right to left. And it says two pink, four purple, three pink, four purple, and two pink. Okay, so again, we will pull the purple up immediately to ride that row as we make our pink stitch. So we're going to pull it from the back, set it on top, and now we're going to make two pink single crochets. So I'm going to set that there. I'm going to work with my pink over the purple. So there's one. And on the second stitch, I have to change color back to purple. So I'm gonna go in and pull up a pink loop. And then I'm gonna yarn over from the back with the purple and pull through, okay? Now it says I need four purple. So I'm gonna work over my pink and I'm gonna make four single crochets in purple and I will change color in the last one. So here's one, two, three, Kind of pull that through and in the last stitch I'll go in and pull my purple loop yarn over with my pink and pull through those two loops to complete that last purple stitch now it says I need three pink so I'm going to let my purple yarn right at the top of the row I'm going to go in working over that purple and make three single crochets in pink so here's two and on that last pink stitch, I have to change back to purple. So I'm gonna go in, pull up a pink loop, uh, yarn over with my pink and pull through that last stitch to complete it. And then it says I need four more purple. So I'm letting the pink right at the top again. 
and then I have one, two, three, and there's four purple, so on the last purple, we're gonna change color again. So I went in and picked up my purple loop, yarn over from behind, complete that last stitch, changing color to purple. Now, I have our, our pink, we have two single crochets, and we're working over the purple to complete the row. So here's one, and two. And at the end of every row, we're going to chain one and turn. Okay, so that was row 13. Okay, now we're going to turn our arrow around and row 14 says from left to right that we need three pink, two purple, five pink, two purple, and three pink again. Okay. So since we're starting with our pink stitch on the row, again, we will pull up that purple from the back and lay it across the row. Okay. So we're gonna lay it across and then we will work our three single crochets in pink working over that purple, okay? So here's one, kind of give it a tug, two, and in the last pink stitch, we gotta change back to purple. So we'll go into the next stitch, pull up a pink, and then we'll yarn over with the purple and complete that last pink stitch and change color. Now, we have five pink, I'm sorry, two purple. I'm ahead of myself. We have two purple that need to be worked over the pink, okay? So I'm gonna go one, two, and on that last stitch we need to change color again. So I will yarn over with the pink and complete that second purple single crochet. And then I will bring the purple back to the top of the row and then I will work my five single crochets in pink working over that purple, okay? So here's one, two, three, four, and on that last stitch, remember we're pulling the yarn through at a good tension as we go, on that last pink single crochet we're gonna change color. So we're gonna go back in working over the purple still, pull up our pink, yarn over with the purple, and pull through the two stitches to end that last stitch on that pink section, okay? Now we have two purple stitches again, and we are going to work them over the pink. So pull the pink over, and you have one, and on the second, we're gonna change color again, okay? So we went in and picked up our purple loop. We're gonna yarn over from the back with pink and complete that second purple stitch. And now we're gonna pull that purple to the top and we will complete our three single crochets in pink, okay? So here's one, two, and three. And we're gonna kinda pull that and then we're gonna chain one and turn. Now this is where on video four that I said that you could cut that second color but you can't do that in this one, okay? Because we are carrying every strand through every row. So even though we're not using the purple in the last row, we will still carry it through. So row 15, da 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 Okay, so reading right to left, we have 15 single crochet stitches in pink, and we will work all of those over purple, okay? So we're looking at our our little project here and we're gonna pull that purple up and let it ride across the row for the whole row as we work 15 single crochets in pink and there are no color changes okay so we're gonna go into that first stitch and there's one two 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And now we are going to chain one and we're going to kind of pull that two and we have finished the project so on the other side of the knot you're going to cut the pink leaving enough tail to weave in and you're going to pull that loop all the way through to secure that stitch and you can kind of give it a tug there and then I'm going to cut the pink with a good tail length on it and we're done. And so now all we have to do is take our yarn needle and we weave in colors, our, our yarns with light colors. And so now you're done. And again, you'll need to give it a stretch. It, it's got a lot of yarn pulled through it that's trying to do its own thing and look how pretty it is and there is a complete difference in the result between video 4 and video 5. Even though much of the instruction was very very similar they resulted in two completely different looks. Okay well I hope you guys enjoyed this project please go to my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash yarn hookers and post your little squares so that everybody can see and you can share your work. I can't wait to see them and I am excited about the next video and I will see you then. All right, God bless. Thanks.